Good morning, beautiful people. In April, a survey of principals revealed the racist outcomes of CPS's principal eligibility screening process. Less than 37% of white applicants were determined ineligible to be a principal, but 50% or more of black and Hispanic applicants were screened out. This kind of racism might explain why there were 50 fewer black principals and 120 fewer black assistant principals in 2019 than there were in 2011. These numbers can't be blamed solely on the 2013 school closures because more than half of the loss of black school leadership occurred before 2013 and after 2015. These racist results of the principal eligibility process are eerily similar to the biased outcomes of CPS's now defunct teacher screening process. In October of 2016, CPS was compelled to shut that process down after a WBEZ Freedom of Information Act request revealed that it discriminated against black and Hispanic teachers. While just 26% of white applicants were screened out, 42% of Hispanic applicants and 55% of black applicants were denied eligibility to teach in CPS. When asked about this racist screening system, Dr. Jackson used a particular word, and she used that word twice, and that word was obviously. She said, and I quote, Obviously, when we saw the data, it was troubling, which is why we sought to reverse that policy swiftly. Obviously, any type of practice where a minority is disproportionately impacted, we want to shut that down quickly, unquote. It has been two months since I informed this board and Dr. Jackson that your principal eligibility screening policy has the same racist outcomes as the now defunct teacher screening policy. Yet the board and district management don't have the same sense of urgency to shut that injustice down, the one being done to principals, not the sense of urgency that it had when that same injustice was perpetrated on our teachers. When the biases of the teacher screening process unfairly disadvantaged black and Hispanic teachers, it was obvious that it should be shut down. But when the bias of your screening process disadvantages black and Hispanic principals, it's not so obvious anymore. As I reported to you last month, two-thirds of principals indicated they were either not satisfied or actively dissatisfied with the leadership of our outgoing CEO. So much of that dissatisfaction stems from having to live with the stark contradictions between the district's pronouncements about equity versus principals' lived professional experience with the inequitable consequences of the CEO's policy decisions. Her divergent handling of the racist teacher screening process on one hand and a racist principal screening process on the other is just the latest example of the frustrating contradictions principals have to live with as a consistent part of their professional lives in CPS. Why is that? Is it because teachers have collective bargaining rights and are in a better position to fight you while principals don't have the same rights so it's okay to enact racist policies against them? Does the fact that principals are not unionized make you feel like you can do anything to them? Is that why the district showed up in the state legislature to oppose HB 3496, a bill that would give collective bargaining rights to principals and other school administrators? Did district management oppose that bill because they want to keep their power to do anything they want to us, no matter how backward, unfair, unreasonable, or unwise it is, no matter how racist it is? Principals and assistant principals in New York, California, Maryland, and more than a dozen other states have collective bargaining rights. And every argument CPS management has created to oppose those rights has been shown to be demonstrably false. So I'll conclude with an inquiry for this board. When Matt Lyons, the head of HR, and CPS paid lobbyist Gino Quinones went to the state legislature, they didn't say district management opposes collective bargaining for principals. They said the board opposes it. I appreciate the opportunity to testify on behalf of Chicago Public Schools on House Bill 3496. Chicago Board of Education, Chicago Public Schools opposes the proposed uh, the bill as amended. So I've come here today to ask you two things. First, will this board commit to ending this racist principal screening policy the same way it ended a similarly racist screening policy for teachers? And second, do the members of this board oppose collective bargaining rights for principals? Rights that could strengthen principals' ability to stop district management from making these kinds of policy mistakes in the first place. 
I'm asking because management is telling state legislators and the governor that you, the board, oppose those rights. But I'm not aware of any vote or even consultation with this board regarding collective bargaining rights for principals and assistant principals. So again, the two questions are, will you end this racist principal screening system? And two, are you in fact opposed to collective bargaining for principals and other school supervisors? A response would be appreciated.